Hello friend, welcome to Stack Phi and if you help me to solve today's physics problem till the end of the video, then you get a cookie. So let's go. Hey what is up everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. This is Ramesh Zaman and today I have taken a question from Wave Optics. Figure shows a Young's double slit experiment setup. Fine. The source S of wavelength 4000 angstrom oscillates along Y axis. So this guy is oscillating along the Y axis following this equation. Where y is measured in millimeters, t is in seconds, the distance between the two slits is 0.5 millimeter. Okay. Uh, let us check the first question. The instant at which maximum intensity, maximum or maximum, maximum intensity occurs at P for first time. Fine. So let us check the question. So for maximum intensity, we all know that the path difference at that point should be an integral multiple of lambda. So first we need to find out the path difference. Now. Of course, this motion is very small, the amplitude is very small and even the point where we are checking the maximum intensity, that is also not far away from the mean line, okay. So this length is also very small. Uh, so how do we find out the path difference? So there will be two path difference behind the uh, slits and in front of the slits. So in this region, the extra path traveled by the wave is this length. So if this one is phi, this one is phi, so this length will be d sin phi. Similarly, the extra path traveled in front of the slit is this length. It should be d sin theta. So the total path difference, that is d sin phi plus d sin theta, uh, which is also nearly equal to uh, d tan phi plus d tan theta, because as I've said, theta is and phi is very small. Put the value of d here. What is tan phi? Tan phi is y into 10 to the power minus 3 meters divided by 1 meter. And tan theta is 0 0.25 10 to the power minus 3 meters divided by 4 meter. Right? So this thing. Okay? So this is the total path difference. Now, for maximum intensity, del x is n lambda. I have taken n equals to 1. Now, you might be thinking that it could have been n equals to 2, 3, 4. Doesn't matter. We'll just check our answer with the options if this matches then it is fine if it doesn't match then its integral multiple should match with any one of the options so first for n equals to 1 we just do the calculation and we will get 59 by 80 comparing it with sine pi t so at t equals this time we will get the maximum intensity for the first time now let us check with our options okay so option c is correct now, unfortunately, if we see that our none of the options are matching for n equals to 1, we'll just put n equals to 2, 3, 4 and we'll keep on going because sometimes we need to check with the options also. Now the minimum intensity, similarly for minimum intensity, it should be a half integral multiple of lambda and this is the general equation. For n equals to 1, it should be lambda by 2. Okay, now we got this one, so just use the path difference formula and equals to lambda by 2. Just calculating it, we get t equals to. So after this time, we'll get the minimum intensity for the first time. Now, if you see that your answer is not matching, then multiply it with 3, 5, 7 or like that. Right. So here we see that option, consoption option? 27 by 80. 27 by 80. 27 by 80. Option B is matching. Okay, so option B is correct. Now let us do a small extra thing. Now see, if we want to find out the motion of the central maxima, then path difference should be 0, then d sin theta should be equals to negative d sin phi, ym by 4 equals to ym is nothing but the position of the central maxima from the mean line. Okay, so ym by 4 equals to minus y, so ym equals to minus 4y, so this will be the trajectory or the equation of the trajectory of the central maxima fine so this one was an extra thing so i hope you all have found this video helpful and informative if you are new to this channel please do like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace take care as you have come to the end of the video you get a cookie i'll see you in the next one peace take care